Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a Tiffany Candles haul and I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet because I feel like I grabbed quite a few bags from Tiffany's last restock and I really like every single thing that I got, I think. I think there's one thing that I'm a little bit iffy on. We'll get there. So I feel like this restock, I feel like she went into my head and was like, well, not that she would, <laughs> but I just feel like she themed all of her chunklets, chunk, chunklets, chunklets, chunklets to things that I would like. Like she was just reading my mind on things that I would like. And so, yeah, there was one thing that she gave me a sample of that I really, really want, but we'll get there. <laughs> I said that twice already. I'm in a weird mood. Okay, let's just jump right in. So the first thing that I got was chunklets in citrus linen with ocean waves overpour. I think my last video was the one that I said the ocean waves, waves overpour was an amazing scent. And this is probably one of my favorites out of her restock. I have a few favorites, but here's what the chunklets look like. Always super pretty. Oh, and this is just really strong. It's fresh. It's got that ocean waves, like ozone kind of bite to it is what I would say. Oh, I could sit back here and smell this all day. The citrus linen kind of borders on like a little bit of a laundry, but not too much. I wish we had smell -o vision so I could just make this whole process a lot easier, but that's what that is. Next, oh yeah, this is the one that I'm unsure. This is cotton candy, honeydew, melon, pink berry, and tonka bean, and tonka bean, and these are her mini cubes. And her mini cubes just look like this. I'll pull them out. They're little, whoops. I thought that was a, a big old rip, but it's fine. This, so these are what the cubes look like. And so I don't even know what pink berry is, to be honest. But I feel like that's what's coming out pretty strong. Pinkberry, it's kind of like, almost like a girly scent. And it's got like a light berry note to it. I don't know if I can smell honeydew melon. I'm kind of like into honeydew melons now. <laughs> so my friend, if Jenny is watching this or sees this, she'd probably laugh because, okay, this is not gonna go back in right now. I just painted my nails because one of my nails decided to go ahead and start chipping on me. So I was like, you know what? I need to make some videos before my nails go to hell on a hand basket. Cause you guys know how I hate to film videos if my nails aren't done or, or you know, if they're chipped, then I'm out. <laughs> okay, the next one is mini cubes in saltwater taffy and Bora Bora. This one, the Bora Bora is pretty strong on this one. It's kind of like a fruity type of scent, like a tropical. I really want to get a feel of what in the hell saltwater taffy smells like. I need to go see if she's got like a scoop -a bowl in this or something or like a just a three pack because I really want to see what saltwater taff taffy smells like. I tried so hard as I was sniffing in here but all I smell is that Bora Bora. I have another bag from her that has Bora Bora and it dominates the scent as well. Yeah, I just, I don't smell, I don't know what saltwater taffy is supposed to smell like, but that is pretty, like, if you ever get a blend with Bora Bora in it, so far from my experience, the Bora Bora is probably going to be, like, the strongest note. Just putting that out there, possibly. I mean, maybe not all the time, but so far I found that. Chunklets and Rainforest Sugarkin with Spa Fusion Over Pour. So again, I haven't seen her do chunklets in a while. Of course, I haven't been around her site very much lately either. So she might have been doing chunklets this whole time and I just missed out. But I know for a while she wasn't doing them for a bit. So here's what it looks like. Pretty blue and green. This is a very sweet. I think the Rainforest Sugar Cane is just kind of naturally like a sweet scent. I'm not 100% sure what Spa Fusion is. It just smells... Uh, it just smells like fresh and clean. I say that about everything though. It's got a sweetness to it. 
I smell what I think is rainforest sugar cane. I'd really have to see what that spa fusion is to figure out what in the heck I'm like picking up in there. But again, like this is a lot of fresh scent. So let's put that back here. Okay, next I got, oh, when I saw this, I just about died. Salty Sea Air with Sex Bomb Ogre Pour. If you saw from my last haul, I got a three pack in Sex Bomb because I absolutely love that scent. Then when she mixed it with Salty Sea Air, I was like mind blown. <laughs> That just, oh gosh. So these are just blue chunks. This just smells so good. It's like you get the sex bomb. Salty Sea Air to me, in my experience, is kind of like a medium type of note. It's not super strong. I'm finding that I like, I do like Salty Sea Air, but I'm finding that I love like if a note has a super strong like ozone scent, I'm all about it. I need to figure out what has a strong ozone scent and like start doing some blends in that because I love it, but this one's good. This one is just a hint of salty sea air. Like I said, it's more of like a medium note. That sex bomb is what really comes out the most. I love it. I think I have salty sea air in a scuba bowl, so if I really wanted to kind of amp it up a little bit, I could probably just, you know, do that mix it chunklets so hush with marshmallow cotton candy overpour and hush is uh is it lavender vanilla and pink sugar yeah this one i have to say is pretty dang amazing these are i love that she's doing the chunklets now again oh i can smell her marshmallow like popping out of here already her marshmallow is so good this is mostly a marshmallow dominated scent to me Oh, I get so much marshmallow. I can just smell it right away. She's got one of the best marshmallows. Honestly. So you just get a hint of hush. Cotton candy, I don't know. I never know what the hell cotton candy is supposed to smell like. It just sweetens stuff up. If you want to be like honest. Okay, so I grabbed Ocean Waves. Um, yeah, I grabbed... I forgot which one I liked, so I grabbed Ocean Waves, Waves and Ocean Overlook, but I think it's Ocean Waves is the one that's got the strong ozone scent to it. Yeah, oh, I love the bite on that. There's like a bite to it, you know what I mean? Like there's like a crisp note to it. Oh, I just love that one. It's kind of like, sort of reminds me of like Sea Breeze a little bit. You know how Sea Breeze kind of has that little bit of a bite to it? So those are three pack titty tarts. I love her teddy tarts. They're probably my favorite. I like them even better than her like fluted tarts. I don't know why. Call me crazy. I like the teddy tarts. <laughs> Ocean Overlook. So now Ocean Overlook to me smells more like a laundry scent. Yeah, it smells more like a laundry scent to me. It's still pretty good though, but I like, I prefer the Ocean Waves better. I got a sample of Passion Melon in my last order, and that caused me to place the order for the Passion Melon now. Oh, and I was kind of tr like tr trying to jump out of my comfort zone a little bit. Gosh, I'm stumbling all over my words. And... It's just good. It's like not over fruity. It's just like a nice melon. Like a soft melon. So I enjoy that quite a bit. Okay, she sent me a ton of samples. I'll get to those in just a minute. I always appreciate samples. Like I think that is really cool when vendors send samples. So thank you so much. We'll get to the samples in a minute. London Fog and a three pack Teddy Heart. Oh, so London Fog reminds me of Lush, is what it is. It, I think it's got Jasmine and Ylang, Ylang Lang, Ylang Ylang, I don't ever know how to pronounce that. But you have to like Jasmine, I think, to like this one. And oh, I love this. That is so good. I, somebody from another vendor did a blend with this, London Fog and something else, and it smells amazing. Oh, I grabbed Rainforest Sugar Cane because I was curious to see what this smelled like on its own. I love that green that she did, like this mint green. That's really pretty. 
Okay, so this is really sweet. Kind of like a sweet green note. Oh, I love that. So we'll have to see. Now I know some, I heard somebody say they couldn't smell Tiffany stuff on cold that well because it is mostly paraffin. But um, honestly, I smell her stuff pretty well. Like you can kind of tell, um, or at least in my opinion, I can kind of tell how it's going to like warm, like how it's going to warm, if it's going to be a medium or a high thrower. Because um, I smell her teddy tarts like pretty strongly. There's her card. That's a little late in the game here, but <laughs> whatever. I appreciate the card always. I wanted cranberry kettle corn in three pack, in a three pack, um, Teddy tarts, but she only had scent shots, so she just sent me some uh, scent shots. And ooh, wow! And cranberry kettle corn. This sounded so good to me, and dang it, it is good. I love that. It's like a circus concession, but it's cranberry instead. Oh, I like that. It's like sweet and then salty, but it's just a little different because of the cranberry. It's like a sweet cranberry. Oh, that would be good, like, mixed with. What would that be good mixed with? I don't know. It, I mean, it's good on its own. So she sent me three of those to make up for the um, the teddy tarts and some of her wrapping, her um, popcorn, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so these are the samples that she sent, and she was more than generous with samples. I think it's very smart for vendors to send samples because more than likely, in fact, I've already smelled two things in here that I know I want to go back and reorder already. So, Marshmallow Shake is the first thing that she sent. I feel like I had this in a blend. Or, what did I have this in? I don't know. I like her, uh, just her regular marshmallow the best, to be honest. This Marshmallow Shake is pretty good, but her marshmallow, just in general, is delicious. So, if you ever mix anything and you want something sweet, get her marshmallow. It is so good. Rosemary mint and strawberry. This is probably in her rosemary mint sampler. Oh, that's good. Oh, damn. That's good. Ah, <laughs> oh, for the love of Pete. I can see another order coming on. Okay, she sent me honeydew melon. She must have been reading my mind on that one or whoever was packing for her. So I've been wanting to try just straight honeydew melon. I like honeydew melon. That's so funny because I never did and now I do. So honeydew melon. We have a cotton candy marshmallow. So I can kind of compare that to her just flat out marshmallow. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm kind of picking up more of the cotton candy on that. I think this is maybe from her marshmallow sampler. I forgot she did a marshmallow sampler. And I know why that people pick that because her marshmallow is good. So that's pretty as well. She sent me cucumber melon type. And I did smell this and I thought, yep, I like that too. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh man. She's killing me. This is good. It's not like, um, I've had cucumber mint. This is better. This is like more melon than cucumber, I think, or I feel like. That's nice. Uh, Kulu Bay, which I believe I've had before. I feel like I've had it before in a three pack. Maybe I haven't. This one has kind of that ozone note to it, too. I still like Ocean Waves better, though. Ocean Waves is still my favorite, so. Kulu Bay. This is the one that I wanted, and I went to her site, and it sold out. Um, it's Black Coconut with Beach Overpour. This is not normally, like, a scent I would run for. It... It's definitely coconut, but it's a different coconut, which I guess is where the black comes in. Mm, I don't know. There's just something very different about this. 
This would be good in the bathroom, I feel like. This would be a good bathroom scent. In fact, I'll probably warm this chunklet, this chunk in my daughter's Scentsy Warmer and see how that does. Next we have pink sugar, which we all kind of know I'm not loving pink sugar, but I can always mix it with something. She does have a good pink sugar though. I feel like it doesn't bother my nose as much as some of the other pink sugars do. And okay, we've got two more marshmallow, marshmallow Fruity Loops. I'm guessing this is probably from her marshmallow sampler. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty heavy on the Fruit Loops. But the marshmallow just kind of tones it down, I feel like, a little bit. Sometimes Fruity Loops can be, like, really strong. Oh, and then she sent me a cube of beach. So, let's see what beach smells like. Beach, to me, smells kind of like that sun and sand type scent. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. But this will be good in the bathroom. This is another good bathroom scent. It does have kind of that ozone note to it as well, but it's not as crisp as like the ocean waves, which is my favorite right now. <laughs> I'm in love with the ocean waves, if you can't tell. I haven't even warmed it yet. Maybe in Watch Me like hate it on warm or something, but I mean, I doubt it. Usually things that I like on cold from Tiffany go fine on warm. Basically what I'm getting at is there hasn't really been anything of Tiffany's that like, I know when I smell it, I know if I'm going to like it or not. There hasn't ever been anything that I warmed up and I was like, you know what, I really don't like this. If I liked it on cold, I probably liked it on warm. And some things have surprised me that I didn't like on cold. And I warmed them up and I was like, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's it. That's my Tiffany's haul. She's very generous with the samples. Great vendor. I always, you know, rave about her. I really like her stuff. She's always open for customs. I think she is right now. I think she's always open for custom, so you can always like blend your own bag, which is really cool. And if you can't find one of her oils on her scent list, I would always message her and see if she has it for you, because um, she's like great that way. She's got great customer service. She's very like um, friendly with her customers. Like she wants to make you happy. I feel like so. Yeah, watch out for her restocks. She's uh, kind of coming out with some good uh, chunk bags here that I've seen. I mean, this last one, I was just like, oh, I had no intention of even buying more than like three chunk bags and I ended up with six and then three packs. So yeah, Tiffany's solid, solid vendor. Definitely check her out. I, yeah, I just think she's good all around. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you very much, Tiffany, if you're watching this for the order, everything came perfect. Yes, and I'm in love. Okay, <laughs> that's it, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. If you've ordered from Tiffany's lately, I know a few of you, yes. If any of you ordered that Ocean Waves, I know a few of you came on and said you ordered some of the Ocean Waves. Let me know how you like it. I'm always curious. Like, I sometimes I hate when I'm like, oh my God, I love this scent, and then people go and order it, and I'd hate for you to, like, not like it either. So I always try to, like, I don't know. I feel like I try to describe things well, but I'm not like that great at describing scents. So I don't know. I just enjoy wax. And I enjoy trying to like describe what things smell like, but you know, everything smells different. Like sometimes somebody will say something like, oh my God, I love this scent. And then I try it. I'm like, ooh. So yeah, I won't be offended if you come on here and say, yeah, I ordered that and I didn't like it. That's totally fine. Talk to me. I like comments reading the comments in the comment section. So, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys so much and I will talk to you later. Okay. Bye.